Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I miss you. It's week three of quarantine and the school is still closed, but I'm here with my big whiteboard ready to teach you everything that you need to know. All right, remember the Lord never gives us a trial that we cannot stand under. He has sent us home and we can still learn. He is a very good God. All right, so today we are regrouping factors. Now remember how last week we did, I'm sinking down. Okay, I'll go on my knees. <laughs> last week we did regrouping add-ins. When we have um, all kinds of mathematical equations, every single part has a name. When you have an addition equation, you have add-end, add-end, sum. And when you have a mathematical equation, you have factor, factor, product. Last week, we learned that we could switch the place um, of add-ends and have the same sum, and we can also regroup add-ends inside of parentheses and have the same sum. You can do the exact same thing with multiplication. You can switch your factors and get the same product, and you can also regroup your factors and get the same product. All right, so section number one says write yes if the equations are equal and write no if they are not equal. If we have all the same factors on each side of the equation, then the answer will be equal. If we have different factors on each side of the equation, I uh, no, we're not gonna get the same product, okay? Here we go. I rewrote it on the board because I thought it might take some time. Four times two times three equals Four times two times three. Do we have the same factors on both sides of our equal sign? Yes, we do. So you can go ahead and write yes in that blank. And on my board, there it is. There's the yes. I want that in your book too, okay? 1B, eight times two times nine equals Eight times two times nine. Do we have the same factors on each side or the same numbers being multiplied on the, each side? Yes, we do. So we can put a yes in our book. Please put a yes in your book. <laughs> six times three times eight and six times two times four. What? Wait, 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 wait. Six times three times eight and six times two times four. Mm, I don't think we're multiplying the same numbers on both sides of that equal sign. So I'm gonna have to say no, we're not gonna get the same answer. No. And four times one times three equals four times one times three. Oh my gosh. We have the same numbers on both sides. So yes, we are going to have the same answer. Yash, yash, yash. Okay, section two, they want you to circle the wrong answers. Now remember, last week we learned, please do what is inside the parentheses first. And we're going to do the same thing this time. So here's my handy dandy eraser. And while I'm erasing, you can write your name and the date at the top of the page. Mine's already there. Please put your name and today's date, March 30th, at the top of your page if you're doing it on March 30th. You might be doing this on March 31st. Then put the 31st on the page. <laughs> okay. 2A. They have six times seven times two equals 84, and B is four times three times two equals 14, and C and E, seven plus two equals nine. This is B, nine plus four equals 36. D, nine plus 
plus 4 in parentheses plus 8 equals 21. And F 8 times 2 times 3 equals 38. All right, here we go. Please do what is inside the parentheses first. 6 times 7. We should definitely know our 6 times tables by now. So that is 42 times 2. 42 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And 2 times 4 is 8. That is 84. So we're only circling the wrong answers. Leave that one alone. It's good. Here we go across. 9 plus 4 equals 36. Well, let's do some math. What's 9 plus 4? 9 plus 4, 10, 11, 12, and 13. 13 equals 36. Uh, I don't think so. Definitely circle that answer. 2B is wrong. 4 times 3 times 2, please make sure to do what is inside the parentheses first, so we're going to practice right now. 4 times 3, that is 12 times 2 equals 14. 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's totally wrong. Circle it. D, please do what is inside the parentheses first. So we're going to practice. 9 plus 4, we already remember that's 13, plus 8 equals, all right, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, that one's good. Leave it. It's right. 7 plus 2 equals 9. That's good. Leave it. And now 8 times 2 times 3, please do what is inside the parentheses first. 8 times 2, should know our 8 times tables, and our 2 times tables. That is 16 times 3. Let's check it out. 3 times 6 is 18. Carry on one. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's wrong. So, to B, C, and D should all be circled. Okay. There are uh, four problems in section three. We just practiced a bunch of parentheses. All right. Um, so, you're going to do what is inside the parentheses first. I will do none of them with you. <laughs> All right, so whatever is inside the parentheses, when you look at 3a, put your finger on 3a right now. It says 9 times and then in parentheses 4 minus 2. You're going to do what is inside the parentheses first. And then you're going to multiply that answer times 9. Now put your finger on 3b. Do it right now. All right. Inside the parentheses is 64 minus 5. And then outside is plus 3. So please do what is inside the parentheses first. 64 minus 5. And then whatever that equals, you add it to 3. Now, put your finger on 3C. 18 plus, in parentheses, 5 times 1. Please do what is inside the parentheses first, and then continue on. And here, I will do 3D with you. So you'll know how to do 3A, B, and C. All right, so here's 3D. It looks like this. 33 divided by 3 inside parentheses. And then you add 5. 
Okay, so this is how you do all the others. You please do what is inside the parentheses first. 33 divided by 3 equals, I hope you said 11. And then you continue to copy what you haven't done yet. Okay, now your equation is 11 plus 5. 11 plus 5, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, and then you put your answer in all the blanks. That's how you do 3A, B, and C. So here we go for story problem 4A and 4B. Did you get that? You can rewind. Okay. Story problem four. A. Mr. Dunn ordered nine feet of pine and twenty and one hundred and twenty-five inches of spruce. How many inches of wood did he order? Now pine and spruce are types of wood. Okay, so this is a measurement equation. I'm going to set it up for you, but you're going to have to finish the rest. Okay, here we go. Nine feet plus 125 inches equals, and the final question asks, how many inches of wood did he order? So what are you looking for? You're looking for inches. And when you know what you're looking for, you want to change everything into that. Blank inches plus blank inches equals blank inches. Making sure our numbers and our blanks line up, our forms of measurement line up, our mathematical symbols line up, okay? Now, Step number one, what are we looking for? We're looking for inches. Step number two, bring down the same. Same, 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 bring it down. Different. Step number three, box the difference. Being careful to avoid all mathematical symbols. And step number four, one, two, three, below that box. One, two, and three. All right, so that's your setup for measurement story problem 4A. It is up to you to finish the problem. And now I'm going to set up story problem 4B. So take a look at this. You had nine feet of pine and 125 inches of spruce. How many inches did he buy all together? All right, that's your setup. Now, 4B. Susan and Kevin. Ushalale. Ushalale. Ushibiribi sky. 4B. Susan and Kevin each spent $3 on cookies for the Sunday school party. Sherry spent $2 on candy. How much did the three children spend in all? Well, in all are clue words that tell you to. I hope you said add. In all means to add. Okay, so you're gonna, um, this is how I do it. They say Susan and Kevin each spent $3. They wanna know how much did the three children spend in all. I put all of their names on my board. All three of their names. Susan, Kevin, and Sherry. Okay, and in all tells us to add. Now, how much did Susan and Kevin each spend? They both spent the same amount. Susan 
spent three dollars. And Kevin spent three dollars. Sherry spent two dollars on candy. Okay, each, when they each do something, that means by every name, there has to be the same number. Okay, each. That's a clue word. All right, zero, zero. Three plus three is six, and six plus two is eight. Make sure that your decimal point lines up and your dollar signs line up. All right, so the three children spent. This is your final answer. This is a story problem, so you have to write it in a story. And then you have to circle it. All right, please, in story problem 4A, make sure your final answer is in a sentence with capitalization and punctuation and everything spelled correctly. Okay, it's, even though it is a measurement equation, it is still a story problem and your final answer must be in a sentence. Okay, so that, is your grant is your math lesson number 105 regrouping factors okay that's section one section two part of section three and all of section four and now you must do the rest everything that's begins with a review ha huh, with a great quote from abraham lincoln Wonderful President Abraham Lincoln, most people are as happy as they make up their minds to be. It's a choice. I hope you choose to be happy today. You're wonderful and blessed by God. I'll see you on the next lesson. Au revoir, mes amis!